All right, what's going on, guys? It is Core Ambition here, and in today's video, I'm going to speculate abilities for both BB-8 and BB-9E because they are the upcoming heroes for January, and I just thought it would be fun to speculate, you know, what their abilities could be. But without further ado, let's begin. I'm going to start with BB-8, and I think BB-8's primary weapon is probably just going to be some sort of shock ability because we could even see him use it in The Force Awakens. He just gave a little shock to Finn, and yeah, I just think that is probably the most reasonable ability for him. Maybe it could be something else. Who knows? BB-8's shock ability would probably work similar to, you know, Palpatine's lightning as you know the more you use it the little, like, little bar will charge up and if you use it for too long then you, it'll probably be on cooldown for a few seconds that's probably how it's going to work i don't think bb shock ability is going to be as powerful as palpatine's maybe you know a little li bit less powerful but yeah so the shock ability is probably going to be bb8's primary weapon but yeah moving on to abilities the first ability i've come up with is grapple and I came up with the grapple idea because, you know, in The Force Awakens, during that scene where the Millennium Falcon was flying around on Jakku, you could see BB-8 use uh, his little grapples to kind of stabilize himself to stop him from rolling around in the ship. So yeah, that's kind of the first ability I came up with. Now, the grapple can have two purposes. Number one is it can get you out of quick situations or you can roll into combat quicker. Say so yeah, to activate your grapple ability, you would have to press the left bumper or right bumper if you're playing on controller. And what that would do is, you know, you would cling on onto an object, either like a wall, a pillar, or just some random object. And once you grapple onto it, you'll kind of be pulled in. And that'll just make you, you know, start rolling around even faster. And the grapple ability can be helpful for many things like that. If you want to get into combat faster to aim your teammates, then you can use the grapple to get in there faster. Or if you're, you know, low on health and you need to get out of a situation, then you can just use the grapple to kind of pick up speed. And then you can get out of a situation faster and you'll have a better chance of, you know, surviving that situation. The second way you can use your grapple is to actually grapple onto enemies. Now, how that would work is that you just shoot your grapple out at an enemy and if it hits, it will like pull them down so there's just a little animation probably similar to like how you know the animation plays out if you get like force pushed or something like that so yeah the grapple will also do a little bit of damage not like a lot of damage probably less than bb8's you know main weapon and yeah that can also be helpful if you're just trying to you know stop an enemy from shooting at you then you can pull them down and that will be helpful to you and your teammates if you just want an enemy to stop shooting at you, grapple onto them, make them fall down, and then finish them off with your shock ability, or let your teammates finish them off. So that's the second way you can use your grapple. But moving on to BB-8's main ability, I call this overcharge. Now, this is where, you know, BB-8 can put his main shock weapon into overdrive. So what this would do is that bb eight shock weapon will now do more damage than what it regularly does and you can actually shock more enemies so instead of directly aiming at one person then now you can aim at multiple people like two or three and you can do more damage so yeah, this will be helpful if you're trying to you know do more damage to the enemy and this will be especially helpful you know if you're just trying to clear multiple enemies out at once because I'm pretty sure BB-8 isn't going to be like that hero that's, you know, meant for heavy damage like, you know, Darth Maul or Luke or Anakin. Um, you know, BB-8 is probably going to be more for, you know, support. But this ability will definitely be helpful in dealing with more than one enemy. So yeah, Overcharge is the main ability. And moving on to the third ability of BB-8, that is Damage Resistance. Now, this is more of a support ability for it. BB and, you know, his teammates. Basically, this will kind of work like the Clone Commando. Where that when you use this ability, activating it will give all nearby teammates uh, resistance to more damage. And this ability is going to be way more powerful, obviously, than the Clone Commando's um, damage resistance ability. So, yeah, this ability will definitely help out you and your teammates if you're trying to take less damage, you know. And that will give you more of a stronger unit to push up together. So, yeah, this is an ability you definitely want to use when you're near your teammates because it'll help you and your teammates in, you know, taking less damage. Moving on to BB-9E. Now, BB-9E's main ability is also going to be sh the shock ability. It's going to work exactly the same like BB-8's. Because BB-9E, you know, from episode 8, he barely had any screen time in The Last Jedi. So, yeah, I just put the shock ability because I feel like, you know, since they're both the same model of droids, they're probably going to have the, you know, similar abilities. So, yeah, shock ability or is going to be the ability that both the droids have. But moving on to ability 1 is discharge. Now, this is going to work similar to the officer's discharged star card now when you activate this ability 
effects. It'll render all nearby enemy weapons useless for a few seconds. Now this will be especially helpful if you're trying to get people to stop shooting at you and this will definitely help your teammates up as when you activate this ability your teammates can easily take out enemies without having to worry you know of the enemy shooting back. Now, like I said, this is, you know, based off the officer's discharge star card. However, the difference for BB90's discharge ability is that it will have a larger radius and it'll keep enemy weapons rendered, I guess, useless for a little bit longer than, you know, a officer's discharge ability. So yeah, it is a more powerful discharge ability, but this is definitely ability that will support you and your teammates. Now, moving on to BB8's main ability, this one I got a little bit creative with, is a flamethrower ability. Now... I was thinking of this and I realized that again in The Force Awakens, there was a small funny scene where um, BB-8 uh, did that little thumbs up and he kind of used like a lighter to represent, you know, a thumb. So since BB-8 had that, I would figure out BB-9E uh, would also have that ability. But since, you know, it's a first order droid, they might have given him a special modification and it could be used as a flamethrower. And I also thought of R2-D2 from Revenge of the Sith where he absolutely torched those poor super battle droids just the combination of those two scenes gave me the idea of bb9e's main ability the flamethrower this will be definitely be helpful if you're trying to you know take out multiple enemies it'll be similar to the first order of flame troopers you know flamethrower gun um, except that it is again more effective it can do more damage and again, since it's an ability, it will only last a limited time. So you really want to be smart uh, on when and where you can use it. So that is the second ability for BB-9E. Now moving on to ability number three is the scanning ability. Now this will help both you and your teammates. If you're playing as BB-9E, this will work similar to the Commando Droids Thermal Vision where the enemies are highlighted in red. So you can see them behind walls and you can see them in much easier. But for nearby teammates, when you activate the scanner ability, then they will be highlighted for your radar more specifically, kind of like the infiltration ability for the specialist. So instead of just getting a general idea of where an enemy is, they will be highlighted on as a red dot so your teammates can get a more specific kind of idea of where they are. This will be especially helpful for your teammates if, you know, you're in a combat situation and you're just trying to, you know... Uh, pinpoint where enemies are specifically and if you're playing as bb90 this will be actually way more helpful because you can actually see enemies behind surfaces behind walls behind buildings and whatnot so you can easily so you can get a more so you can obviously get a better idea of where your enemies are and you can plan more accordingly on what you're going to do next but yeah this is going to end off the video comment down below what you guys think of these abilities do you like them do you not like them i would love to hear your feedback but yeah leave a like if you did enjoy this video and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos but yeah it's been core ambition peace out everyone